Luke chapter 21, start at verse 5. And as some spake of the temple, how it was dormant with goodly stones and gills, he said, As for these things which ye behold, the days will come in which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Master, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? He said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. For when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Amen. Great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Mm. Let's praise you. God, we love you. God, we praise you. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your word, God. Anoint us and use us for thy glory. Anoint hearts and ears to receive your word. We praise you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. You can be seated. The disciples began to question Jesus after Jesus had made the statement about the temple. Some of them had spoke of the temple, how it was uh, adorned with goodly stones and gills. And he began to tell them, uh, the day is coming, and there shall be not one stone left upon another that shall be thrown down. But as you begin to read in, in, in Luke 21, and, and I'm going to read some more scriptures here in a minute, but as you begin to read, you find uh, that uh, uh, what you read, so, some of these things have happened. Some of them are happening now. That's right. And some of them are yet to happen. Amen. So you find, when talking about the temple, that Seventy years after Jesus spoke that prophecy, the temple was in Jerusalem was torn down. Uh, but as you go on, and he began to give signs about uh, things that were to come to pass about the end time, and he began to tell them about the earthquakes and and the famines and the wars and rumors of wars, and and he said, uh, don't don't be terrified of these things because they must be. He said there be there be signs in the heavens. He went on, and he said in, in verse 20, I'm going to skip some, I'm not going to read the whole chapter. Verse 20, he said, And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Amen. He said, when you see that, you, you, you know that the desolation, and, and I don't have time to go into uh, what the desolation is all about, but it is when the Antichrist uh, sets himself up as God in the, in, in the temple of God. And he, he says it's that the Bible calls it uh, uh, the desolation of abominations or abominations of desolation. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so that's what he's talking about. Uh, and this is not this is not my, my point tonight, but I'm, I'm going to get to it here in a minute. And, then, and, and if you drop on down to verse 25, the Bible said, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and, 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 and upon the earth distress or, or, or trouble or calamity. The word distress means distress of nations with perplexity, which means confusion. Are we there now? Distress of nations and perplexity. We're in a confused world. We're in a confused uh, nation. The sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts fading for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. One place in the scripture says everything that can be shaken will be shaken. They shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Uh, could I tell you, 
And, 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 and again, I, I, y'all have heard me teach on it, and I, I don't have time to go into detail tonight to those that haven't, but when, uh, when they see the Son of Man coming, to me, it's going to be too late. Because when the Bible, when, when, when uh, at the catching the way of the bride, only those that are ready are going to see it. The Bible speaks in two different places in the book of Zechariah and the book of Revelation that when they see him, they're going to mourn because of him. Because they realize who he is. Realize what they've done to him. That's Some are right. going to ask him, where did you get those scars? He's going to say, in the house of my friends. Uh-huh. But he said, when, verse 28, when these things began to come to pass, and I'm, I'm going to go back to, to, to this verse in a minute. When these things began to come to pass, then look up and lift your, up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Thank God. Thank and he spake to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own self that summer is now nigh at hand. Amen. So likewise, when you see these things come to pass, and I'm going to tell you, in a great number, we are seeing these things come to pass. Amen. Yes, sir. Know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all be fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. That's right. Verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting, and drunkenness, and cares of this life, so that that day come upon you unaware. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. (laughs) Praise God. Praise God. And I want to go back to verse 28. He said, And when these things began to come to pass, then look up and lift up your head because your redemption draweth nigh. Amen. I, I want to use for a thought for just a little while, preparing to leave. Preparing to leave. Amen. Uh, you, can go, you can go into the Word of God and you find it in, in, in the book of Matthew, the story of the five wise and five foolish virgins. Uh, there were ten virgins. Five of them were wise, five of them were foolish. The five wise virgins were prepared to meet the bridegroom when the cry went forth, Go ye out to meet him. Amen. The five foolish were not quite prepared. They weren't quite prepared, didn't have enough oil in their vessels. Although they all slumbered and slept, in other words, life continued on as it, as it was, as it is now. Amen. But the difference was, five were prepared. To Amen. leave and five were not prepared. Amen. So you see, when you look around and, and you look at all these things that I read over about some of the signs of the end time, you can look around and you can be, begin to see that a lot of these things are happening and taking place now. Yes, sir. And again, again, I know, I know the first thought in somebody's mind is that no man knows the day of the hour. We don't. That's right. I promise you, we don't. No way. Because the word says we don't. Amen. But he says, be prepared that that day don't come upon you unaware. Right. He gave us signs for a reason to let us know what season. He said, when the fig trees in bloom, know you that summer's night when you see these things begin to come to pass. Know you that, that, that it's near. So, while the world, and I'm talking about right now, while the world is preparing for terrorist attacks, I'm preparing to leave. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you, Come on. Jesus. Thank you, you Jesus. Amen. While some countries are developing 
nuclear weapons, I'm preparing to leave. Yes, sir. You Thank you, Jesus. Come on. While abortion clinics are getting ready to uh -oh. murder thousands more babies, I'm getting ready to leave. Amen. Uh, yes, I, sir. While judges are, are preparing to make a statement on same-sex marriage, I'm getting ready to leave. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. If you are, if, when you see yes, these sir. things begin to come to pass, come look up and lift up your head because your redemption draws out. Amen. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. While it's all right to go ahead and make plans because he said occupy till I come, while it's all right to go ahead and make plans for tomorrow, you prepare tonight in case you don't make it tomorrow. Right. Amen. So I'm prepared to leave. I'm prepared, I'm prepared to leave here. Why? Because I see some things coming to pass. Amen. I see some of these things that he's talking about coming to pass. Amen. So there's nothing left for me to do. It's prepared to leave here. Yes. Huh. While many are prepared for Super Bowl parties, I'm prepared to leave. That's right. Amen. Are you saying... Are you saying God's coming before the Super Bowl party? I don't know, but I'm going to be prepared in case he does. Right? Amen. Yes, sir. Huh? I'm prepared to leave. Amen. Yes, sir. Jesus said, Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. That's, that's the present there. But he said, I go to prepare a place for you. Amen. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, right. that where I am, there you may be also. Amen. So, so I, he's prepared a place for me. I need to be preparing to leave here. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Somebody, I, I heard somebody make a statement sometimes, a prepared place for prepared people. Mm -hmm. Preparing to leave. Prepared to leave. While some may be drinking and drugging, uh -oh. I'm preparing to leave. Yes, sir. While the entertainment world is looking for the next big star or the next big movie, I'm preparing to leave. Amen. Yes, sir. While there's earthquakes going on all around us every week, you hear about one. Amen. I'm preparing to leave. While, while there's floods all over the world, I'm prepared to leave. Amen. While there's famines in some of these countries, I'm preparing to leave. Yes, sir. Why? When you see these things right. begin to come to pass, look up, lift up your head, because your redemption draweth nigh. Amen. Praise God. Listen. Listen. While many go on in their, in their life like they'll be here forever, I'm getting ready to leave. Thank God. Somebody said, why? Why do you go to church so much? Why do you lift your hands when you worship? Why do you carry it on so? Why do you love the Word of God so? Because I'm getting ready to leave and I don't want to be left behind. Amen. Yes, sir. I don't want to be left behind. Yes, no. Amen. Praise God. Because I see these things begin to come to pass. Listen, it's not all gloom and doom. Because I believe that in these last days, while 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 the earth is in chaos, while the world is in chaos, Amen. while everything is going against the child of God, while while to be uh, uh, a Christian is very politically incorrect. Uh, it's all right because I'm getting ready to leave. Praise God. Yes, and I'm going to a place yes, that God yes. has prepared for me. But there'll be no more tears. There'll be no more crying. There'll be no heartache. There'll be no sorrow. There'll be no pain. Amen. There, there won't be any cripples there. There won't be any cancer there. Right. There won't be any heart attacks there. Amen. Like said, Thank men's God. hearts failing because of the fear. 
of the things that are coming up on this world. Yes, and a beautiful Lord. place he has prepared for me. Amen. So while the world goes on about its business, while they think we're crazy, uh -oh. yeah. while they, they think that, uh, hey, hey, here's, here's, here's the liberal point of view. They think we're haters. Huh? They think we're so wrong. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. Because we cling to our guns and religion. Amen. Huh? Amen. What they don't understand is that I get ready to leave. Yes, sir. Man, you both. Uh, because I've seen these things begin to come to pass. So, so while, while, I, while I'm here tonight, and while I'm in the presence of God, it's all right, the Bible says, you know, a study to show thyself approved. Bless him, Jesus. We are in there once in a while, we've got to give ourselves a checkup and see if that trumpet, if it sounded tonight when we leave here. Amen. Praise God. Because... And because we don't know the day, and because we don't know the hour, but we know the time frame. Oh, yeah. Huh? Amen. When you see these things begin to come to pass, yes. look up, lift up your head, because your redemption is drawing high. It's time to make preparations to meet you. Yes, it is. It's time to make preparations to leave here. And it's an exciting Bible, Bible talks about the rapture. Yes, it does. You know, the catching away, somebody says, well, the word rapture ain't in the Bible. Well, it's not, but it's called the catching away. Yeah. What do you think it means? We're going to be called up to meet him in the air, the Bible says. Yes, it does. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And he says, comfort one another with these words. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. In other words, we can look around and say, Brother Joe, you can show it bad out there. There's a lot of war going on, but, but listen to this. God's about to come. That's right. Amen. We feel the lead. You know, that, 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 that short, it, it breaks my heart when I hear of all the abortions that take place. But listen, here's some comfort. We're about to leave. We're about to leave. Amen. Yep, it right. breaks my heart to see the United States of America going against the Word of God. But it's all right. You take comfort in this. We're about to leave here. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Look, look with me to the book of Amos. Amos chapter 4, verse 6. He said, And I also have given you cleanliness of teeth. And that, that, that doesn't mean you brushed real good. <laughs> what it means is there's nothing in your teeth to pick out because you had no food. And I also have given you cleanliness of teeth in all your cities and want of bread in all your places. Yet have you not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Mm. And also I have withholden the rain from you when there were yet three months to harvest. And I caused it to rain upon one city and caused it not to rain upon another city. One piece was rained upon and the piece were upon it rained not with it. So two or three cities wandered unto one city to drink water. They were not satisfied. Yet have you not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have smitten you with blasting and mildew, when your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increase. The palm worm devoured them. Yet have you not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt, your young men have I slain with a sword and have taken away your horses and have made the stink of your camps come, to come up into your nostrils. Mm -hmm. Yet have you not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, we look, we look, 
we wonder why all these violent things are going on, why all these disasters are taking place, and, and these terrorist attacks and all of that. Could it be God is trying to get our attention? Amen. Yes, sir, I believe. <clears throat> he said, I've overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And you were there fire, firebrand plucked out of the burning. Yet have you, you not returned unto me, saith the Lord. And then verse 12. Therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God. Oh, Israel. He said, because I do this. I, I, I haven't got your attention any other way. I, I, I've held off the rain. I've sent pestilence. I've overthrown some of you, Sodom and Gomorrah, yet you still haven't returned unto me. He said, okay, if that's the way it's going to be, prepare to meet thy God. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. Prepare to meet thy God. See, the thing of it is, so many will meet God unprepared. Unprepared. So while all this is going on and all this is taking place, we can take comfort in knowing we're preparing to leave. Huh? Amen. It may be... It may be a year down the road. It may be a day down the road. It may be 10 years down the road. I don't know. That's right. But I'm telling you, and I study, and I study this stuff, and I listen to this stuff, and I listen to other preachers teach this stuff. We're living in a critical time. Yes, we are. And God's about to do something. Yes, we are. But I'm preparing to leave. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank I'm preparing to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Because I've got a feeling there's a trumpet that's about to sound. <laughs> Praise God. I've got a feeling yes. that we're about to leave here. God's about to take his church out. And when, when he does, when he does, those that are left behind are going to be like the five foolish virgins. They're going to be shut out. The Bible said, and the door was shut. Mm -hmm. And the door was shut. Praise God. Are you prepared to leave? I came to church tonight because I'm prepared to leave. Amen. Yes, sir. I'm going to come to church Wednesday night if I'm able. I know sometimes we're not able. Well, sometimes there's sickness, there's things that hinder us. But if I'm able, I'm going to cut, come to church Wednesday night because I'm preparing to leave. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. And I plan on coming next Sunday. Yes. If I'm able, if I'm not in the hospital. I tell them at work, I go into work someday, oh, it's Monday again. Some of them say, oh, it's Monday again. I said, I'd love to be here the best hospital in the world. I don't mean I, I, that don't mean I really love my job. <laughs> It just means it's better being in a hospital. Praise God. And God has blessed me to keep it. You know, but, but if something happens, you know, if something, if something don't happen that, that, that keeps me out, I plan on being here next Sunday because I'm getting ready to leave. Amen. I plan on the rest of this service. I plan on lifting my hands and worshiping Him because I'm getting ready to leave. Amen. Praise God. I, I, I plan on saying hallelujah or praise the Lord or take yeah. my hand. Uh, I might even leave for joy. I might even wait for that. Somebody say, why? Because I'm getting ready to leave. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting ready to leave. Should that trumpet sound tonight as you stand? Should that trumpet sound tonight? Are you ready to leave here? When you see these things begin to come to pass. Look up, lift up your head because your redemption draws nigh. The church is getting ready to leave. Praise God. Amen. Praise God.
Are you ready? Are you prepared to leave tonight? I'm not talking about preparing to leave to go out the door to go home. I hope I do. I hope I'm able. But I'm prepared to leave this world behind when that trumpet sounds. Amen. Praise God. As they sing tonight, would you come and worship? Would you come and praise Him? You don't know it, would you come? 